Hi Virgo, welcome to your June monthly tarot reading with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back to Nightbird Enchanted. Thank you for joining me. This is your monthly reading for June. Please make sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus sign for this reading. Virgo, I've already shuffled off camera to save time, so let's just jump right into it to see what the energies are for you for the month of June. So I hope everything is going well for Virgo. And the first card we have is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords typically is immature communication. This can be coming from potential air sign, but it's one where we're receiving or getting information or communication that is not based on facts, reality. It could be gossip. It could be rumors. Uh, it could also be something where people are social media spying, social media stalking, sleuthing, trolling. So the Page of Swords energy has that type of communication associated with it. Someone could be watching Virgo, gossiping about Virgo, spying on Virgo in the month of June as well. So the first card we have is the Page of Swords. Here we have the Three of Wands energy. Virgo, I feel that you have or you are setting off from into a new course. You're looking towards the future. You're making progress. You're moving away, perhaps, from this type of energy. This may still surround you, but your focus, your goal is towards the future. You you are setting out on a new path, or you have been setting out on a new path, especially in the month of June. Your back now is towards, you're turning your back on these energies. They don't matter anymore. They're not affecting you. You may know that they're still there, they're still going on, but you have essentially turned your back on that. You're more focused more focused on progress, seeing progress come into your life. You're more focused on the future. The next card we have is the moon. So yeah, there's been elements of deception. There's been elements of confusion, fluctuating mood swings with this Page of Swords energy. There also could be someone who's dealing with or is suffering from depression this could even indicate someone who is a, a suffering from addiction. The moon's influence is one where uh, things are an illusion. They may not appear to be what they seem. This could be struggles, uh, especially at night. We can't sleep. Uh, many things are on our mind. It's like the shadow card. This is Pisces. So we could be dealing with the Pisces, but the moon's influence is one that's stating we're looking towards the future because we've been dealing with too much of this element, too much of this watery, mixed communication, mixed emotion from someone as well, uh, dealing with mood swings, fluctuating moods, hot and cold energy, uh, negative. It can be very negative, but it can also be very deceptive as well that's surrounding Virgo or was surrounding Virgo. Coming out of the most recent past, we have the Queen of Cups energy. This could be potential water sign female. The Queen of Cups, however, is mother to me in the Tarot deck. So her focus is one where she's very intuitive. She's a visionary. She's a dreamer. She's psychic. She's mother, she's intuitive in terms of having a sixth sense about her children. She's in tune uh, with other worlds. She's creative. So the Queen of Cups energy could even represent Virgo yourself, or this could be representative of an actual person coming out of the most recent past. So there's been restriction surrounding this person. This person may have mentally tried to restrict you or perhaps mentally, emotionally, physically tried to keep you trapped in a certain state of mind. 
Uh, this queen may also feel very mentally restricted as well or may feel very trapped in her situation. The Queen of Cups is very loving, okay? So this, this entrapment, this feeling stuck, this mental restriction, the message is there's an opening. There's an opening, but we're so bound up with other people's thoughts, other people's opinions, other people's uh, assumptions okay so we're so caught up and bound mentally by this this could be the Queen of Cups influence all right this also could be Virgo yourself but I feel like it's coming from someone else towards Virgo so the next card we have is the Ace of Wands this month serves a purpose where I feel Virgo is now going to have a period of great vitality there's a new beginning there's a surge of energy. There's a surge of creativity. There's new energy or restored energy. There's a new beginning. You're forging ahead. So the Ace of Wands comes in, which gives us that energy. It gives us the new beginning, and it gives us the new cycle to go forward. So there's a lot of energy with the Ace of Wands. Justice comes into play. So... This month, many Virgos may find that they're in a new cycle where things are restored with balance. Okay, justice steps in. This is Libra. Justice steps in to make things even, to bring justice to a situation. You may even see signs of justice within a situation. This could be something on a, on a legal front as well that plays out in your favor. So something comes in very swiftly with a lot of energy to restore or to maintain ultimate balance for Virgo this month with justice in the reading. So this energy of gossip, spying, uh, rumors, yada, 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 this is, this is going to have its day, okay? This is going to have its day. Something's coming in that's going to really say, no, this is it. We're going to see justice finally in this situation. Done, over, next. So the next card we have is Chariot. This is Cancer's card. So Chariot is overcoming obstacles, overcoming difficulties, going forward, okay, Having the confidence to go forward. You're going to be very bold and courageous this month, Virgo. Nothing's stopping you. You're unstoppable. It's unstoppable. And the chariot's direction uh, may take you into a new direction, especially with the Ace of Wands in the reading. It may take you into a totally new direction, physically, creatively, spiritually. You're learning something from all this with yourself. So the chariot is overcoming obstacles, regaining control of a situation as well. The Wheel of Fortune steps in. This shows me that a cycle is turning in the month of June for Virgo. We're going into a different cycle now. This is one of serendipity. This is one of fate, destiny. We're, we're not recycling the same old cycle. Okay, people may still talk, but we're not going back there. We're not recycling the same old uh, certain uh, friendships, relationships. We're not going back to where we know we're not wanted, etc. Okay, so we're allowing the universe to step in and guide us and take us into a new direction for Virgo for the month of June. The Knight of Cups is here. This is movement. This is new emotion. This could be new friendships. This could be new relationships. This could be someone who is, uh, has an interest, who's pursuing us, who's chasing us, who's wanting to offer us emotional love, support, new love for some that are watching with the Knight of Cups energy. This could be a younger water sign, younger male energy as well. So they're wanting to offer Virgo something. So I feel like Virgo is going to enter into new relationships, new friendships. Okay, it's part of the divine plan, especially with the Wheel of Fortune energy in the reading. 
So here we have the Three of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Cups coming to offer Virgo something. You may feel that the pain that you have suffered from this type of energy, okay, and from the Moon's energy, uh, you may not be ready. You may also feel that my heart's tender, my heart's still broken, and this offering may come where you just don't have it in you to be acceptant of it, okay? This is heartbreak. This is sadness. The offering may not be the, the right time for you, but it's coming. But you're heartbroken. You feel defeated. Okay, so there's the sadness. There's this loss here. But there is potential for new love. There's potential for new friendships. It's up to you in terms of acceptance of that. Let's pull a couple more for Virgo. So we have the lovers, and then we have the star. So we're at a crossroads, Virgo. We're at a crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? Do I go back? Okay, do I go back and deal with this as the foundation? Or do I move forward? So we're at a crossroads. This could be about relationship for Virgo. The star's influence is to have faith, to find hope. In your situation it's divine guidance it's being led spiritually Virgo knows what's right deep down inside Virgo knows Virgo knows who's a good egg Virgo knows who's a bad egg okay but there's a crossroads for you to take this month and the star card comes in and gives us renewed faith renewed hope to let us know that it's safe Okay, it's safe. It's safe. This doesn't mean that this is going to break our heart again. Okay, our heart may be broken, but it's safe. So whoever's entering into Virgo's energy field this month, it's safe. The star card is, is one where there's angelic energies, this guidance. And it's a card of renewed hope and faith. And a safe, it's a safe place. It's a safe space for Virgo. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Magician. So the Magician comes in. This is ultimate beginnings for Virgo this month. I feel that it's also high manifestation for you. He's the manifester. He's the one that's able to attract Law of Attraction, Manipulate Energies. This is ultimate beginnings for Virgo. If you choose, okay, going back to if you choose, because we're at a crossroads now, to leave the past behind and to go forward with the future. It's up ultimately your choice. It's up to you. So thank you so much, Virgo, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, my website's in the description box. Have a great month, and I'll speak to you soon.